President Akufuado has inaugurated the first radio astronomy observatory in West Africa at Kuntunse near Accra. This means Ghana has joined the club of prestigious countries that have been able to deploy radio scientific technology to detect the movement of planets, galaxies and other bodies in the universe. Inaugurating the astronomy observatory, President Akufuado said his government will make available the needed resources to develop the human capital of the country for the National Space Development Program. The idea to establish the Radio Astronomy Observatory was mooted in 2004. By 2011, feasibility studies and other processes for the establishment of the Ghana Space Science Center had begun. This follows a memorandum of understanding between the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission and Vodafone Ghana for the transfer of an abandoned antenna to convert the facility into a radio telescope. By 2012, the Ghana Space Science and Technology Center had officially been opened. The center, which is Ghana's first space science center for space exploration, astronomy, and technology, set the tone for Ghana's quest to become the first country to establish the first radio astronomy observatory aside South Africa. The center, which is an area of excellence in space science, exploration, and space technology through teaching, learning, private space flight, and space research commercialization, also allows scientists and astronauts to conduct research into natural resource management, weather forecasting, agriculture, and national security, among others. After three years of work, Ghana has now joined other few countries that have been able to deploy radio telescope scientific technology to detect the movement of planets, galaxies, and other objects in the universe. The 30 million Ghana City project at Kuntunse in the Greater Accra region is a partnership between the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, and the Square Kilometer RA SKA African project, a South African entity with funding from the African Renaissance Fund. The Director General of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, Professor B.J.B. Nyaku, said the project will better position the country to be able to handle large volumes of data and also provide a platform to advance the study of science in the country. It is our cherished hope that with the launch of this satellite today, Ghana will take the necessary steps to move Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute to become a vibrant Science agency in the near future. The director of Square Kilometer Ari, builders of the project, Dr. Rob Adam, outlined the specific function the Ghana Radio Astronomy Observatory can perform. It was also used to point at the same celestial objects in the sky in combination with other radio telescopes, uh, ones in Europe and also one in South Africa, 4,600 kilometers away, simultaneously. These instruments were coordinated to all point at the same object in the sky and got what are called interference patterns, fringes, again very essential in combining information to tell us what's going on in terms of different phenomena, different physical phenomena in outer space. The Minister for Science and Technology for South Africa, Dr. Nalindi Pandora, said it will be replicated in many other African countries. So what we are doing through the work that we celebrate today is a massive task of altering the perception of Africa from an Afro-pessimist perception to an Afro-optimistic perception of Africa as it performs and undertakes science initiatives. President Ekufuadu said developing the scientific human capital of Ghana is key and the government will make every resources available to achieve this. I have given my pledge to raise significantly funding for research and development in science, technology and innovation from 0.25% of GDP to 1% of GDP in the short term. This will be increased to 2.5% of GDP in the long term. Players say the feat achieved by Ghana is very significant because Ghana is the first partner country of the African Very Long Baseline Interferometry Network 
to complete the conversion of a communication antenna into a functioning radio telescope.